This morning, our state is in shock. And I want to take this moment to speak directly to the people of our state. To our first responders, I'm in awe of you. I'm in awe of your courage. I'm in awe of your strength. I'm in awe of everything you do for each and every one of us. You saw a crisis and you said, what can I do to help? And our response teams are doing everything in our power to rescue and recover the victims of this collapse literally as we speak. People who, as we speak, are out there are divers, are air assets. People who right now are working to save lives and are doing it because the state asked. And we will update the public as the work continues. To our partners inside and outside of government, I know this has been a long night. We started coordinating immediately after the Key Bridge collapse. We've been standing together every step of the way from our county leadership to our city leadership to our state leadership to our federal leadership. And I'm grateful to call each and every one of you not just colleagues, but I'm grateful to call you friends. And to the people of Baltimore and each and every one of the 6.3 million Marylanders who call our state home, I recognize that many of us are hurting right now. I recognize that many of us are scared right now. And so I want to be very clear about where everything stands. We are still investigating what happened, but we are quickly gathering details. The preliminary investigation points to an accident. We haven't seen any credible evidence of a terrorist attack. Our administration is working closely with leaders from all levels of government and society to respond to this crisis and not but just by addressing the immediate aftermath, but also by building a state that is more resilient and a state that's more safe. That is our pledge and that's our commitment. to the victims of this tragedy and their loved ones. All of our hearts are broken. We feel your loss, we're thinking of you, and we will always be thinking of you. We pray for the construction workers who are on the key bridge, and we pray for everyone who has been touched by this tragedy and their families and all of their loved ones. But Maryland, we will get through this because that is the Maryland spirit, and that's what Maryland is made of. We are Maryland tough, and we are Baltimore strong. So in the face of heartbreak, we come together. We embrace one another, and we come back stronger. That's what we've always done. That's what we'll continue to do. And that's what we're going to get done together. And we're going to pray for Baltimore.